What's going on guys, it's J-Ho back with more Destiny 2 and in this video we're going to show you guys how to get Pinnacle gear. So this is the updated Witch Queen version of the Pinnacle gear list. But before we get into it, in case there are any newer players or returning players and you need a refresher or you don't know what Pinnacle gear is, I'll give a short explanation and then we'll get into all the sources for how to get Pinnacle gear. So basically Pinnacle gear are the rewards that allow you to reach the highest possible level in any given season of Destiny 2. So for example, in this season, which is season 16 or season of the Risen, we have the power cap, which is 1550 power. And then the ultimate pinnacle cap is 1560. So once your overall power hits 1550 on the season, you can no longer get increases in drops from a powerful gear sources. And the only way to get higher weapons and armor past 1550 is by doing activities that say it drops pinnacle gear on it. So there are various different ways to get pinnacle gear in the game, a bunch of different activities. And that's what we're going to go through in this video. But basically, this is what allows you to get to the ultimate cap of 1560. This is your overall level. And this is without the artifacts. So keep that in mind. So basically, all your weapons and all your armor, the highest it can be in this given season is 1560. And a pinnacle gear is what's going to get you there. And the other thing we need to mention is that there are two different types of pinnacle gear in the game. So one of them is going to be the plus one pinnacles. That means it drops plus one to your overall. And then the other are the plus two pinnacles, which is plus two to your overall. So it doesn't say which one is which in the game. And we're going to denote which one is which in this video. So make sure you keep track of that. I also leave a list in the description if you guys want to check out a more organized version of it. But basically, that's the explanation on a pinnacle gear. So let's get straight into it. So starting off with the plus one pinnacles, these are definitely easier to get and definitely more accessible to solo players. But starting off with the first one, we have the Vanguard Ops playlist. So this one is the newly changed Vanguard Strike playlist. And basically, you can get either strike activities or those battleground activities in this. All you got to do is complete Vanguard playlist using the same subclass element as the currently active Elemental Burn. So you have to do three of these in order to get your pinnacle drop. And the way you can tell what the current burn is, is you just click on it and then hover over the modifiers on the bottom left and it will tell you exactly what singe it is for the week. So you just have to match the element on your subclass to whatever burn it is for that week. And upon your third completion is when you will get your pinnacle gear drop. And then moving on to the next plus one, we got Gambit. So all you got to do for this one is complete three matches of Gambit. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then moving on to the next one, we got a Crucible one. This one says complete matches in any Crucible playlist. So even though this one seems pretty straightforward, it actually is a little bit more specific than that. But I believe any playlist that isn't the survival playlist will give you credit for this pinnacle. Survival has its own powerful reward that's why so I believe it's not going to give you credit for this pinnacle gear drop. But basically control, elimination, rumble, the specific rotation playlist also gives credit for this. And I think Iron Banner also gives credit for this when that's up as well. You can also hover over each of them to make sure that it says Pinnacle Gear on it. Because when you hover over Survival, it does say Powerful Gear because it's its own separate reward. But basically, any of the other ones should give you credit toward this Pinnacle Drop. And then finally, for the last plus one Pinnacle, we have the Clan Rewards Vendor Drop at Hawthorne at the Tower. So this one, if you hover over it, it does say Powerful Tier 2 on it. And this has been a visual bug for a while now. And basically it is a plus one pinnacle even though in game it does say only powerful. So I believe it's just a visual bug and they still haven't changed it after how many seasons. But it should be a plus one a pinnacle. And then moving on to the plus two pinnacles there are a bunch of new ones on the throne world. As well as some of the older ones that have stayed as well. So uh, let's get straight into it. So the first one on the throne world is going to be the weekly replayable campaign mission. So uh, this one requires you to get a team score of 100,000 or better. So this one's similar to the Nightfall where you can choose what difficulty you want to play it on. And the higher the difficulty, the more points you're going to get. I believe Legend difficulty will be more than enough to get the 100k points you need for the Pinnacle. But maybe you can do it on Hero depending on what mission it is. Some missions probably give more points than others. And I know Hero is the match made version. So you might want to play that if you don't have other people to play with. But you can try it out. I'm not sure because I haven't tested it out enough. But all you got to do is get 100k points. 
doesn't matter what difficulty and then moving on to the next plus two pinnacle we got the wellspring activity this is the new six man activity in the throne world as well and uh, this one requires you to complete one completion on the harder difficulty of wellspring and I believe this one doesn't have matchmaking as well so you might have to get a group you might have to LFG if you want to do this one one more thing to keep in mind before we move on is that both of these two pinnacles will not just appear automatically on your map so you may have to grind a little bit to unlock these if you haven't done so yet but basically you just have to rank up the new vendor which is Finch at the throne world and he does have these rank reputation rewards similar to some of the other vendors in the game and basically once you rank up you unlock some of these rewards that he offers and if you take a look at the bottom row he does have two rewards and two of them are unlocking the pinnacle for these two specific activities so I believe rank 13 is when you will get your first one which is the replayable campaign missions and then at rank 18 is when you can unlock the hard mode for the wellspring activity so you just have to do a little bit of grinding out in terms of Finch's reputation and then once you do so you can unlock these two pinnacles on your throne world map and then moving on to the next plus two pinnacle we have the Vox Obscura mission also on the throne world so this one requires you to defeat powerful cabal and champions in the Vox Obscura exotic quest and then moving on to the next plus two pinnacle we have the preservation mission also on the throne world so this one was unlocked newly after the first completion of the world's first raid race and in order to access this mission you have to go to the evidence board on the enclave and you have to pick up a report called pyramid inspect and so once you pick that up you should be able to access this mission and then speaking of the raid we have the newest raid which is the vow of the disciple that recently came out this past week and basically this one should be a pinnacle drop on every single encounter so I believe there is a total of four encounters and all of them should be a plus two pinnacle so probably one of the most rewarding ways to get pinnacle gear and then moving on to the next plus two pinnacle this one is the vendor challenge at the helm added from the seasonal content so this one requires you to defeat champions in the psyops battlegrounds playlist and basically it's this playlist right here up above and you have to access this one and not the other ones on the EDZ and Cosmodrome. So I believe there's around four or so champions per run. So it should take you at least three runs to get this pinnacle done. But you will be getting some powerful drops as well if you're opening those chests at the end. And then moving on to the next one, we have Dares of Eternity. So this one requires you to complete Dares of Eternity with a score of 250k or higher. So I believe you can do it on the easier difficulty but I think if you do it on the harder difficulty it is a lot easier to get that score. But I'm pretty sure I've gotten 250k before on the normal mode so I think it is possible but it is easier if you do it on the harder difficulty. And then moving on we have the Grass of Avarice Dungeon, the latest dungeon that came out with the 30th anniversary content. So this one is still a pinnacle. And you will only get a pinnacle from defeating the final boss, so completing the entire dungeon. Uh, the first two encounters are only powerful drops, so keep that in mind. You can try and just get a checkpoint if you're just going for the pinnacle. But uh, basically, you get the pinnacle after defeating the final boss. And then the next plus two pinnacle is tied to the Nightfall Strike. So this one requires you to get a team score of 100,000 or better. So there's no requirement on which difficulty you have to do it on. You just have to get 100,000 points by the end of the strike. And so doing it on Legend usually is the most common way to get 100,000. I think there are some strikes where you can get 100,000 on a hero difficulty. So keep that in mind, depends again on which strike it is. And then moving on to the last few pinnacles, these ones are tied to Crucible. So the first one is going to be Iron Banner Bounties. So every time Iron Banner comes around, there's going to be four bounties that you can complete. And each of them should be a plus two pinnacle. And Iron Banner usually comes around once every month. And then the last few are going to be tied to Trials of Osiris. So after they did the Trials revamp last season, they did a little bit of changes to how you get pinnacles in Trials as well. So one way you can get pinnacles is just by winning 50 rounds of Trials. And then the other one requires you to win 7 matches of Trials. So this one can be on multiple cards. It doesn't have to be all on the same run. So these two could be harder or easier depending on your skill level at Trials or Crucible in general. And then finally the last one is from Going Flawless in Trials of Osiris. So if you get to the lighthouse and open the chest, it should give you another plus 2 pinnacle as well. So those are all the pinnacles currently in the game. If I 
did miss any, I'll try to add it to the description below. Or if they add any new ones, I'll try to add it as well. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!